Hey everybody, and thanks for joining me for another installment of our NIM strategy series. Uh, today what we're going to go over is the complete strategy for all NIM positions with two piles. So that means that we have one pile over here, say it has 15, and the other pile over here, I don't know, maybe it has 82. And at the end of today, you're going to understand how to win this game, whether you want to go first or whether you want to go second, and what you're going to do. So before we jump into that, let me take a minute and step back and review what we've gone over so far, so far because we're going to be using it as we go forward. So I think you all remember that if we just have one pile with 15, even though that does not look like a 5, uh, if there's one pile, it doesn't matter how many it has, you just take the whole pile and you win. If there's two piles, we've talked a little bit about this already in the last couple of videos. Today we're going to finish it off, but I want to make sure we understand what we had before. So if we have a game like this, just two piles, each, ha each having one, then you want to go second. Your opponent's going to take one, you're going to take the other one, and you win. And what I hope you remember from last time, and this is maybe the most important thing in the whole video series, is if there's a game where the second player can win, moving to that game is a winning strategy. So that means that if there's some more over here, I just want to take those away to move to this. So if you can move to a game where the second player wins, then you win. So if we can find these games where the second player wins, then we know we just have to move to them in order to win. So let's, let's check out an example of the type of game that I asked you to look at at the end of the last video, which was two piles that are the same size, but any different size. And I hope that you've thought about it, and I hope you've found that it doesn't matter how big I make these piles. These are two separate piles. It doesn't matter how big I make these piles. I've got now five in each. It, I can change it to a hundred in each. The second player can always win these games. And if you've thought about it, I hope you figured out that they can win these games using a strategy that I like to call copycat. Whatever you do in this file, I'm going to just copy you in this file. If you take one, I'm going to take one. If you take one over here, I'm going to take one over here. And then we get down to this position that we've already talked about so many times. And you're going to have to take one of them. I take the last one and I win. So what we've said so far is that moving to a game where the second player wins is a winning strategy. So that means that, we've, and we've also said, that any game where the two piles are the same size, the second player can win. So together, those things solve the whole problem. If we have any two piles, either they're the same size, in which case we can use that copycat strategy, or they're not the same size, in which case we can make them the same size. We can find the bigger one and just cut it off so that it's the same size. So let me show you an example. I think this is the one that I said at the beginning of the day today. Let's say we have 15 over here and 82 over here. And we want to figure out the winning strategy. So we ask ourselves, are they the same size? And they're not. So all we have to do is make them the same size. We take this 82. We drop it down to 15. And now we just use that copycat strategy. If they change this now to 12, then we're going to change this one to 12. And if they take 10 away from over here, bring it down to 2, then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to copy them. And now they don't want to take the whole pile because we'll just take the other pile. If they take one, then we'll take one, still just copying, and they'll have to take one, and we'll get to take the last one. So now we've completely solved NIM with any position with two piles. In the next video, we're going to step it up a notch and look at positions with three piles. But if you're going to join me for that video, you really have to understand all of this. So if you can't beat your friends in a game with two piles, if you don't know when they're making mistakes and you don't know when you're making the right moves, then I want you to practice before you join me in the next video.